Hey there, Lickin Riffers, and welcome back to yet another awesome electric guitar soloing lesson here on Lickin Riff, in which we're going to continue to explore the super shapes, mixing the major and minor pentatonic shapes into super positions, super shapes, super scales, if you will, that enable your solos to become much more sophisticated without them sounding like you're changing between keys all the time, between major and minor, okay? It's a mixture, okay? Hence the word mixture, because you're actually mixing the scales. You're not uh, just playing two different shapes. So we've already covered the first super shape, Okay, the first position. We've covered the third position, which is, in my opinion, the best super shape because it's just incredible. You can never run tired, uh, run out of ideas uh, using the third super shape, the third position super shape. And now I'm gonna show you how to mix the, um, the fifth position, okay? I like to view it as a mixture between the fourth and fifth positions. Yeah, you can chromaticize. Okay. Okay. And okay. this is the fourth, the fourth position, and this is the fifth. By themselves, they're not very interesting, but when you when you combine them, you get really interesting. Uh, if predictable um, sounds, okay, predictable because people have been playing them since the 1970s. So I'm gonna teach you how to break that predictability. So um, in case you're not familiar with the shapes, okay, you have uh, seven and nine on the third, okay, you have eight and ten on the second, okay, and you have seven and ten on the first, um, and. The fifth position, okay, that was the fourth. The fifth position is 12 and 10 on strings one and two, and 12 and nine on the third. So I like to combine them by playing, okay, or sliding, and then eight, 10, slide to 12 on the second, and then I have 10 and 12 on the first. Now, now the 12 on the third, on the, uh, sorry, on the second string, is also seven on the first. So I'm not missing anything. Okay, you can slide back and then go back to the fourth position if you like. So this is a really versatile shape. Now you can, uh, you can bend, okay? You can add chromaticism. You can add 11 on the first and second strings. Okay, the, the blue note is the 11 on the second string. Okay. And you can add chromaticism between 10 and 12 as well on the first. Okay. So those are your th those are your options. The major scale here, the E major scale is just the first basic pentatonic shape on 9. Okay? That's Okay, so in order to not make it sound like the scale itself, okay, if you just play the scale. Okay, that, does, that, that isn't really a mixture. What I'm talking about by mixing is playing something like this. Okay, adding the nine on the second string while playing the mixture of the fourth and the combination of the fourth and fifth positions. Okay, and then the transition is smooth. Okay, I'm playing okay, just eight to nine. Okay, and on the third string, okay, you have the, the pentatonic shape, right? You have, okay, if it's on nine, you have 11 and nine. 
Okay, but because you have the minor pentatonic scale as well, you can play 12 too. Okay, so you can play 9 and 11 on one string and 12 and 9 on the other. Okay, you can play 9 11 on the third and 12 and 11 uh, and, tw and 12 and 9 on the fourth. Okay, and it's a mixture. Or you can do it the other way around. And then you get the Dorian sort of sound. Okay? Which is 12 and 9 on the third string and 11 on the fourth. And you can go crazy. You can add nines on the first string as well, but... Okay, but you'd better do it in a subtle way, okay? Not a crazy way like I tried to do in the previous example. That was a bad example. Okay, you can slide eight to nine as well on the first. Okay? Now, you can play seven and nine on the first string. Okay? Okay, so instead of... Okay, just normal pentatonic. Okay? 7 and 10, you can play 7 and 9. Okay, and then you have... You have... You have a tritone there, which is... Inside... A7. Okay, so you have a kind of a, an arpeggio. Okay. Okay, you can bend the chromaticism. You can bend 11 into 12. Um, so this is what I mean by mixture. Okay, you can create odd sounds between the two. You can use those notes on three different strings to create different harmonies. Okay, so you have... Yeah, you have the major chords. Or you can go completely... Completely nuts. Okay, and play. Okay, it works inside a solo. It works inside soloing frameworks sometimes. So... You see, you can play seven and seven, you can play nine and nine. And then go back to those outside sounds, which are the chromatics or the minor. Okay? Because if you have the minor sounds, you don't really have... Okay, you have fourths. Okay, you have eight and seven and ten and nine on strings, uh, on strings uh, two and three. But if you have the major as well, you can play... You can play seven and nine, and then you completely change the contact. You see, I played ten and seven on the first string, and then I played nine and seven. Okay, so... Okay, just like... You see, I... Moving between the two shapes smoothly, just adding, just changing one note at a time, okay, on one string, okay, not changing the entire shape, just adding one of the notes, okay? Okay, playing 9-11 on the 4th and 3rd, and then 10 and 8 on the 2nd. Okay?
eh? so on so forth you can you get what i mean now by mixing the scales it's not playing one shape and then the other shape hey okay? so we'll continue to explore this farther in the meantime you subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next lesson bye for now enjoy